Hiya, welcome to Slow Cooking Skills and uh, I'll tell you again, my name is Paul and uh, I oversee the kitchen here uh, for handcrafted and today our recipe is corn beef hash okay, now the best bit about making this one is the lethal tins okay, so we have to be careful with the tins the key, we take it off and slip it on it's pointing that way when it's uh, done. So what you do is take the key off, slip it onto the little catch that's already there, and then you can see which way it's going to go to turn. But make sure it's firm, because I, in the past I have cut my fingers quite a few times on these tins. And then all we're doing is simply twisting like this, nice and gentle, nice and slow. Don't do it too quick, otherwise it might go pear shape. So nice and gentle, and then you can see it just rolls around and uh, nice and successful because we don't want any cut fingers because these tins are totally lethal. So the trickiest bit is once it's done, try and ease the bottom bit off and it should, again, making sure that's really sharp, so be careful. And it should just slip out, okay? So that's that. And we've got this, and we're simply just going to dice it, as you can see there, into cubes. So, cut it like so. And then we go in three, that way. One that way. Same again. trying to concentrate that's why I'm not talking I don't want to cut my finger off but there you go you can see nice and easy three that way and then one that way okay so that's all done so then what we're going to do is we're going to place the corned beef into the cooker like so Don't forget all the quantities and everything will be on your ingredients. So don't worry too much about that. So the corned beef's in there. And then we've got simply five peeled potatoes and then chopped, which we prepared earlier. So they go in as well. And then we also have some onions, which again have been nicely chopped. They too are going to be sprinkled in. And then what we've got here is we've got a little bit of chopped parsley, which we're going to shove in as well. And also some thyme. Just check how much thyme it is. Half a teaspoon of thyme. So get that. On there, there we go, and just sprinkle that in as well. And then we've got four, you can see four little squares of butter, and just place that in nicely as well. And then a little bit of Worcester sauce, and we're going to put one tablespoon of Worcester sauce in, okay? So Measure it out nicely. There we go. So that's in as well. Now all we need to add is some stock. So what we're doing is it's 120 milliliters, okay, which is not a lot. So on your surface, measure up. There we go, and then I'm going to add the beef stock and mix it in, and then we're going to pour over the dish. So I'll crumble that into there. And we'll give that a bit of a mix. There 
as you can see, it is warm water. Well, you might not be able to see, but I can see. It is warm water that's uh, in there. Okay, so I'll mix that in. And then we're simply going to pour this over the food. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to cook that, this again, uh, cook on a low for six to eight hours, or you can cook it on a high for four hours. And uh, as usual, salt and pepper. Who's pinched me salt and pepper? Where have I put my salt and pepper? Uh, ah, there we go. My trusty's assistant. Thank you. So if we just put a little bit of salt, add that. And a little bit of pepper. If you don't like pepper and salt, then don't add it, but you know, it's whatever you like. So there we go. So that's all ready to go. Uh, as we said, low six to eight hours or on high for four hours. Okay, so we'll switch that to high, put on the lid, and we're ready to go. So there you go, there's a the corned beef hash. Hope you've enjoyed preparing that and we hope you enjoy eating it as well. Okay, so we'll uh, see you again sometime.